the other day for Easter we had a shrimp bowl and I had some leftover shrimp from the bowl and we're gonna put this joker on and see if these fish like a little bit of spice I have a feeling hey it's gonna be fine bait right here guys the boiled shrimp is going on and for real this might be better because it might stay on the hook a little bit better I put one piece of boiled shrimp I'm gonna go one piece of just regular shrimp here All right, guys, instant bites. Now, is this on the boiled shrimp or is this on just regular shrimp? Yes. Son, I got them. Hey, this feels like a little better fish here. We got a little pulling coming on. Hey, if it's a bigger croaker, it's going in the chest. I'm telling you. Hey, it's a white trout on the boiled shrimp, dude. It's a white trout on the bull shrimp. Dude, first cast out with bull shrimp, we find we catch a fine white trout. This is what I was wanting, because these are some of the finest eating fish in the water right here. Look, they are pretty too. But I'll load an ice chest up with these jokers. I don't care. And we're gonna put some more bull shrimp on. Look guys, I'm done playing around too. Look, we're going double bull shrimp. Okay. Clearly it's way better. From now on, I guess we're just going to have to boil all of our bait. I don't know. So Riley has brought it to my attention that a shrimp is just a shrimp. Okay. No matter what you do to it, a fish is going to eat a shrimp. But, what about a mushroom? This is a boiled mushroom that we cooked the other day. And I'm fixing to catch a fish on this joker. Alright guys, got the mushroom on the hooks. Fixing to send this baby out there. Oh, well, one of my pieces of mushroom is officially gone. Okay. <laughs> Cuts my chances in half here. But I just want to see a bite. Hey, look. Automatic bite. Automatic fish, dude, on the mushroom. Check that out. Son. Automatic fish. Hey. This, is, this might even be better than the shrimp, dude. You think I'm playing? Well, and that's a pretty good sized croaker. But this 11 foot medium heavy. Look guys, I know that this 11 foot medium heavy surf rod is way overkill for these croaker and occasional white trout, but it's okay. I've never fished with a surf rod before. My first time ever using one. So I'm getting my use out of it. Oh, I spent like 80 bucks on this joker. No joke. He looks, she looks pregnant. She's got a big old belly on. Hold her back. We need more croakers. Look, we gotta let our breeding croakers go. Okay. We gotta make sure we have a good supply for our trout bait. So here's the ultimate test. Uh, we've proven bull shrimp works, bull mushrooms work, uh -oh. but which one works better? We got shrimp, bull shrimp on top, we got the bull mushroom on the bottom here. Comment down below what you think is going to work best. I kind of have my money on the mushroom, let's see. Mushroom and shrimp out. All right, we're getting some bites. Which one is it on? All right, fish on. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be on? And it was on the mushroom. told y'all here's the shrimp right there and there's the fish where the mushroom was at hey mushroom is better than shrimp it works so good 
I'm gonna put some more mushrooms back out there. Back out. Just hit the bottom, see how long it takes. What's up? Fish. Fish. Hey. Dude, they like this mushroom, man. Guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. This summer, I do have some apparel coming out. I got some hats and I have some fishing shirts. They're gonna be uh, posted on my Facebook page here in the next couple of days at Wabo Outdoors. If you'd be interested in buying a shirt or a hat, be sure to go to my Facebook page and shoot me a message. Thank you.